All right, we got the Metro State Roadrunners. At the center of the table is head coach Derek Clark. Coach, if I get this wrong, please correct me. We've got Will Sinclair, uh, senior center out of Lilydale, Australia. We've got Nicholas Kay, a senior out of Tamworth, Australia. Uh, Mitch McCarron, 6'3", senior guard out of Brisbane, Australia. Deshaun Phoenix, a junior out of Fort Worth, forward. And Sam Porter, a senior forward out of Arvada, Colorado. You got it. Coach, an opening statement, your thoughts on the game? Well, you know, certainly wasn't the result that we dreamed of on this deal. Um, you have to give Midwestern State credit. You know, if you look at the, how the game unfolded, they made play after play after play. You know, and, and, and that's what really good teams do. I did not look at these guys as a seven seed. We gave them the utmost respect because we thought they were better. They finished third in the league in the long start, a very tough league. You know, so, and I have great respect for Coach Haggerty because we've played him the last three years. So I've gotten to know what he's about and how he runs his program. And so we have to give them great credit um, on uh, winning this game tonight. Um, to go one step further and finish that off right here, I told our guys, and I believe this is, you know, we lost the game, but we're not defeated. And we'll never take that attitude right there. You know, I have some parting uh, uh, gifts that I have to give to my seniors. Thus, they're all here. Because we have to do it the right way. These guys that you see around me, these five seniors, they have given their heart and soul, not only to our program, to this institution. You know, I, I wouldn't change anything about what it's been like for, in some cases, four years with these guys. But I tell you, you know, a group of guys that handled themselves with class and had the ultimate buy-in. You know, it's sad that it had to end today, but you know, I got a great group to be around in this situation. Questions for Metro State from the media. Coach, uh, in the first half, you guys scored 21 points, in the second half, 30, 35 points. Can you talk about the difference between the first half and the second half? Well, I thought we got the same kind of shots. Um, you know, we didn't take a lot of threes. We shot, what, four threes for the game. So. We had the ball around the rim a whole lot. You know, we had uh, quality shots even in the first half. You know, they do a good job of pressuring you and, and not allowing you to run your stuff. With that being said, I still thought we were on the rim an awful lot. You know, we didn't turn the ball over a whole lot in the first half. In the second half, we were fortunate that some of those sharp shots started to drop. That was, and again, I thought we had kind of the same quality looks, you know. But they do a good job defensively, they're physical. You know, and um, you know their bread butter is buttered there. But again, I thought we had some quality shots for the whole game. Mitch, with about five or so seconds remaining, as we're down by three, went, went into the down the court. You're looking to get fouled. Hopefully, with a three hand one. What was the what was the case of the play call there? Uh, that was great block. I should have shot the three, so the accountability for that. Nick, talk about your performance. You uh, led the team in scoring 29 points, 13 rebounds. Just talk about getting out early, especially, I mean, you were beat up most of the game as well. well. We talked about we need to get the ball inside this game, and we noticed that they weren't doubling the post in on film, so a lot of the game players get the ball inside and make plays down there. So I think it wasn't just me. I think Will did a great job down there, and a lot of other guys penetrating and um, getting the ball to the hoop, and that's why we had a lot of free throws tonight. Um, I think it was just a team effort tonight. But, um, I think everyone contributed in their own way, and at the end of the day, we, just, we weren't able to get enough. We weren't able to get the job done. So. And Deshaun, question for you. Um, you weren't too big on the stat sheet. You were actually the only one with uh, only bench player with four points. Um, but you did have like a lot of hustle plays. Uh, well, I think we had uh, one steal. Um, so can you talk about your report, approach towards uh, the game today? Um, coach just tells everybody to be ready and just feel like. You know, there's 12 guys on this team, um, so you know anybody on the bench could be, it could be their night. And you know, I was just trying to do what I could to help the team tonight. It was, it was a team effort, um, what we did. Mitch, last week, let me piggyback off that question, <laughs> if you will. You know, it, it, you don't look at the stat sheet and say Deshaun was this. I tell you what, I thought Deshaun played one of his best games of the year. You know, he played 23 minutes. Deshaun was in there battling for rebounds. I mean, Deshaun had seven rebounds on the game. You know, so we're not asking Deshaun to get 20 points, but I thought, you know, he guarded Wagner. Uh, uh, for our team, he was one of the best guys on Wagner, for example. So, you know, uh, you don't look and say four points, and all of a sudden that's the whole story to the book right there. I thought Deshaun battled. I thought Deshaun played prideful. 
and I thought Deshaun really competed tonight. So I got to make sure that we're clear on that right there. He gave his guts and soul in this game right here, and we asked him to rebound the basketball, and he got seven for us. As far as uh, uh, Will Sinclair, I mean, you came out uh, two for five. Uh, what was your approach as far as when you started the game? Because uh, you came out in fours, and you was playing pretty good in the conversation there. Uh, so my role before the game, I was told was just to attack the boards and change shots and really um, just help getting our, our two main guys open. And it's just, I went out and just, that's what my job was, was just rebound, change shots, and um, yeah, that was my role in the game. Mitch, after last week's game in UCCS, you said in the post-game pressure that you guys needed to get back to playing that first base basketball. What, what happened tonight? What was it? Was it not able to get back to whatever that, do you guys think that is? What happened in this game? Uh, I think we did. You know, I think, like Coach said, we got a lot of shots on the rim. And, uh, you know, guys didn't really um, step outside of their roles. You know, everyone shot shots that they usually shot. And, and we defended, you know, if you give teams what, you know, 24 points in the first half, that, that's pretty good in a regional. So I think we got back to defending and, and we did a pretty good job. And Coach, uh, you guys are uh, for the rebound. I mean, there was a couple of 50 plays, 50 50 ball that went the other way. Can you talk about it the last uh, couple of minutes of the, of the, of the game? Yeah, I thought we cleaned up a lot of um, those, those balls that were, as you call, 50-50 on that. Look, the game plan for us, and, and, you know, it holds true. It hasn't changed because of the result. Can you play with them on the glass? Look, we were plus 12 with the team against a team like that. We had 19 offensive rebounds. We gave them a taste of their own medicine because they had been averaging 15. So we held them to half their offensive rebounds. We thought that was a big part of the game right there is rebounding the ball, because that's the staple of this program, their program, Midwestern. So, you know, our guys took that challenge. It was 40 to 28 on the glass. That's a significant stat. The other thing was we wanted to get to the free throw line. Well, it was 29 to 18. So we got that one done. Sometimes the game, when you look at the box score, there's some funny, uh, you know, statistics that unwind. If, if I look at this box score and go look at the stat, I say, hey, we have a great shot at winning the game. And, you know, we left some free throws out there, mainly in the first half, you know, where we would just, it was hard to score in those easy baskets right there. But, you know, they're a physical team. And if you look at the stats, we won the dirty, the dirty uh, areas of the game, the rebounding, you know, getting to the free throw line, those kind of things. You know, so we did a lot of good tonight. But ultimately, what you have to do to win games in regionals is you have to score points. We had a very tough time. And again, give them credit. They had something to do with that. But, uh, you know, if you told me plus 12 on the glass, I'd have said, hey, we're in pretty good shape. Sam, being along on the right of one of your seniors, championship game, Final Four, Elite Eight, you guys uh, out in the first round, talk about the disappointment and the difference in between last year, last couple of years, and this year going out in the first game of the tournament. I mean, obviously, tonight is pretty disappointing for everybody. Um, as a senior, I think it's especially hard. Um, but I mean, I'm so proud of these guys in this room and the guys in the locker room. And I'm just grateful for the opportunities we've had even in the past years. Um, just thinking back, it's a blessing to even have those opportunities. So, I just want to think there, I have a question. I mean, you're a part of Colorado. I mean, I brought it away. So, how do you feel for representing Colorado? I mean, I know you guys are not in the, we're not in the first round, but still, I think overall, the team, I think you guys are pretty good in that. Yeah, I mean, like I said, it's just an amazing opportunity to even start this journey. Um, sad that it ended tonight, but, you know, it was the winner of the losers, and we ended on the wrong side tonight. Coach, what are you going to remember the most about these five seniors from this year? Um, you know, just the dignity with which they carried themselves. I pushed these guys incredibly hard, and I'm not talking about this year. You know, you got one, two, three, four of these guys are four-year guys. They've been in the program for four years, you know, and that, that question is hard to answer because there's so many memories over four years, and it's hard to just put it in one capsule right now. But if you're talking about this year, you know, the, just, just the demands I put on these guys, and they came in with the best of attitudes, you know, as far as that goes. Look, with four of these guys right here over the course of my five years, I've had four of these guys for my five years as a head coach. I think we're well over 100 wins, you know, with these guys, like easily over 100 wins. I'm not going to remember all the wins. I'm going to remember the times where I probably should have did a better job on the losses. 
you know, with these guys. I wanted it to end the right way with these guys, but you know, that's sports sometimes. You know, you get disappointed. But these are teachable moments for me with these guys. I'm that they, as I told these guys, like or not, I'm never going to stop coaching them because they're a part of my fabric. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, there's so many things. We've had a lot of uh, good times, got a lot of good laughs, you know, shed tears, all of it, the whole deal. I'm not going to get too corny on you, but, you know, that's four years of an investment. You know, these are young men that are sitting around me. They're 19 and 20 years old, and you're talking about spending four years with, with them, watching them grow. You know, unbelievable group, you know. We'd be so fortunate to have another class like this come through, you know, just, just, just winners, absolutely winners on and off the court. What more can you say? And to the five seniors, whoever would like to answer, uh, just talk about your time under coach, now coming to a close, your last game under him, obviously never lacking in the fiery passion, teaching you guys and your guys' careers at Metro State. Um, what did you guys say when you guys as coaches, you guys just were under his, in your, in your final game under him? coaches he does push us and he will never stop teaching like he said he's, he'll never stop coaching us um, and that's the thing I really experienced over four years um, it wasn't always easy or fun but deep down we know it's what's best for us um, and I would want no other coach one final question from the coach uh can you talk a little bit about what McNeil from Midwestern did? I mean, it looked like a lot of those guys you had, a lot of those plays you guys had him defended pretty well, and he just threw it up with a hand in his face. Can you talk a little bit about just the game he had tonight? Well, he's a great player. You know, everything that he did tonight in terms of going five for nine, we were well aware of what his strengths were, and we tried the best we could to be there on the catch and make him put it on the floor. And you know, yeah, your some of them was hand in the face. You know, uh, big time players step up though. You have to give that kid credit. You know, I don't think that we were sloppy in, in how we guarded him. And you know, he's their leading scorer. And we put a lot of attention on preparation on him. But you know, sometimes great players, if they get just a little bit of space, they're able to make plays. And that's why he's a long star, you know, all conference type player. And um, you know, he, he, he did the job for them. He did his job tonight for them. Coach, gentlemen, thanks for joining us. Uh, congrats on a great season.